and welcome back. This is the Whiskey Review and it is the first day after Thanksgiving and we are back doing what we like to do best other than eating lots of food and rolling on the floor and moaning and that's <laughs> drinking whiskey. So yeah, I'm Mike. I'm Ed. And yeah, go. Oh. Well, <laughs> we just lost some of our lighting. That's okay. We're not going to worry about it. Nope. All right. Uh, today, we are drinking our first Isla whiskey, and we are jumping in with both feet. I mean, we're really going at it. Well, it's uh, obviously not your first. Well, <laughs> well. I, in all fairness, I did share this with him on more than one occasion. Yes. So I don't think he can complain this time about being left out. <laughs> <laughs> But yes, we have drunk this one before, so yeah. we'll, we'll yeah. just say that right up front. Yes, but this is our first one on the Rock Cut Review, uh, and like I say, this is this is pretty hardcore for our first Iowa one. This is Octomore. I was just gonna say uh, the seven point three edition. Uh, so they have they've done a, quite a few editions of this so far. What was wrong with the seven point two? There's nothing wrong with the seven point two. Um, <laughs> They, but they've done a bunch of different ones, and they this basically came around. It's an experimental thing where it's super, super heavily peated. All of these are super heavily peated, but they do variations on them. So the one, this one is uh, the variation is that they used all Isla barley. So it's actually from the Octomore Farm, which is just above so, Port Charlotte, where Brook Laddie from farm to is bottle. Related. Yeah, yeah, very much so. Brook Laddie <laughs> as a distillery um, is very much all about uh, terroir, like. Where your where your spirit comes from and how that affects it. Um, so this is about like cast strength, I believe sixty three. I was gonna say I can smell the alcohol yeah. from here. Sixty three percent. Yeah, this is this is strong. And um, for those of you who were wondering, this is one hundred and sixty nine fennel parts per million. So that's the measure of peatiness. I believe uh, seven point one or one of the sixes took it up above two hundred ppms. So that's a lot of peat. yeah, yeah. <laughs> So it's a lot of smoky flavor. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and you definitely you definitely smell smoke on this. You definitely get smoke. Now, um, these this was done in American oak and in Spanish wine casks. So mixture mixture of oak on this on this double barrel. Yep. Cool. Yep. Oh yeah. All right. Now I gotta ask. I'm I'm getting a lot of ethanol straight up. Well, I mean, uh, it is, it do is we, 63%. Do we want to drink this as ca I'm, cast I'm gonna, strength? I'm going to drink some of this neat, okay. for sure. For sure. But I am going to add water after I do that. Yeah. I drink every whiskey. Every whiskey I drink, I, I try it first neat. Yes. Then, I, then I'll then i add some water to it. This one, I definitely think you can add a bunch of water to. 63 yeah. proof. Yeah. I, I got a question. We had a question from the inner tube from a John S. He says, Mike, Eddie, what is proof? Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so that's interesting. I did a little research, but I think Eddie knows a lot more, and I'll just jump in as I know. Yeah, sure. Well, that, so proof is basically there's a difference in the way uh, people have measured alcohol. So the when you out a bottle, of, especially of like American booze, they always have uh, the ABV, alcohol by volume percentage. So this is 63, which in American proof is 126. So basically, Americans decided proof. We're just going to measure it as double the ABV. That is, that is proof. Well, why have ABV and proof? Why why both? You know, I don't know. Why why do they have <laughs> both, Dad? Well, I found out that it was a taxation purpose. That uh, way back in Scotland and England back in the day, uh, they used to measure proof by putting in uh, gunpowder pellets. Mm. And if they would burn after they pulled them out... It was 57 point something proof or above. Okay. And then they could tax it higher. Ah. Now, why do they have proof in the States? Uh, back in the 80s, 1980, early 80s, they dropped the proof in the United Kingdom. Mm. And America is the only one who still does it. Interesting. So, I just, yeah. I know, um, I know uh, British proof is different from American proof. Because there's, uh, there's Glenn Farkless 105, which is 105 British proof, but 120 American proof. So we should also get, uh, get a hold of some of that because that stuff's great too. Uh, okay, <laughs> okay, Octomorph, 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 Octomorph from Brooklady. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Um, for as peaty as this is, it is not just straight up smoke, whatsoever. Like there is, there is smoke. No, yeah. There's a lot of smoke, but oh, catching I get, I get, um, kind of like a that vegetal um, green. Seaweed kind of thing. A little bit of that. I'm getting oaky. Oak. Yeah. 
Uh, sweetness. Sweet. There is sweetness. Little vanilla. There's vanilla. coming from the oak. Yeah. Yep, there's vanilla. There's some, uh, I don't know what fruit oh. that is. Apricot. Oh. I'd say yeah. apricot fruit. Yeah. Not, yeah. not like red fruit, uh, but yeah. yeah, like yeah kind not, of a, a, not a whiny kind of thing. Yeah. And there's there's kind of a an interesting, like almost like cheesy. Like if you smoke the cheese. <laughs> if you smoke cheese, like a funk. How, and usually, how do you yeah. keep it lit? <laughs> But like, like there's that funky note that I think with some whiskeys is not exactly good. But this is, uh oh, oh he's going for it. This is, this is, I like the funk in here. The funkiness in here is pretty cool. It adds to the flavor for sure. Yeah, yeah there's a, yeah. there's a nose full of stuff going on. There's like a sweet, I would almost say like corn sweetness, but oh, it's not. But it's not corn. It's not corn. Oh, Obviously, this is all malted barley. This right. is this it's is dry. a single malt. Um, yeah, so. Definitely not. It's definitely not corn, but it kind of reminds me of corn. Ooh, spicy. Mm-hmm. I had bites on the tongue. It's got an al- alcohol punch. Mm-hmm. But you do taste the sweets, kind of apricotty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oak and the smoke, peaty, smoky. The yeah, smoke. It's all, the smoke is oh, there. This is warm and good. Yeah, and <laughs> it's interesting because I think the smoke, when it hits the tip of your tongue, you, you get the the smoke. It disappears a little bit as it goes over the rest of your mouth, and you get some of the oak, and you get some of the vanilla, some of the sweet, and then it reappears in the back. In the back. Yes. Yeah. It's very a good finish. Film. A good warm finish. Yeah, and, and it comes full flavored. Warm oh finish. yeah, it comes off very much. Um, the end, the the finish is that kind of that warm bacon. Um, there you go. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. The, the kind of burned bacon. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna water yeah. this down. Yeah, it's a little bad. strong. It is. It is. I mean, then that's the beauty of, yeah, of a cast strength whiskey. You can add as much as you want. I'm going to go three. I'm going to go about that much. Let's see what this does to it. Takes away the punch on the nose. It does. Yeah. It does. I do feel like that brings out a little bit more of the vanilla. Mm hmm. I'd be interested to see what happens Ooh. if we let this sit for a while. If we let this sit and come back to it. You get more of the peat and less of the the, the uh, pepper. For sure. Yeah. That's, actually, it mellows it out a little bit. Uh, I will say, the peat in here is not just straight up smoky peat. I think I with the water especially, I get more earthy. It's not like burning. It's not like a, a, a wood fire, but it's it's more a little earthy oh, kind of ness. Sure. It's not exactly, it's not that big plume of smoke that you might expect from something that this heavily peated. It's more like a fire after it's been sure, burnt sure. Out. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. This is yeah. this is a little more earthy, a little more ashy. But I am I am surprised by the, by the amount of sweetness they get out of this. Yeah. I'd be interested to know because so with Brooklady they are using very tall stills, and as we know, the shape of the still has a huge difference on the spirit that finally comes out. Right. Um, and I'd be interested to know. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be interested to know how their what what a what their cuts are because it makes a big difference. Like a lot of that peat shows up in the the tail cut at the end of your distillation. Um, so I'm wondering, are they taking more of a heart cut here to get that sweetness? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, I mean, not that there's not smoke here. There definitely is. Well, that's interesting. I didn't realize that there were different ways of. Oh yeah. Well, because what the first thing that comes off is still is pure poison. Right. So you don't want that. <laughs> Get rid of that. Yeah, and then the Get second. Back to your friends. Then the second area part is the heads, oh. and then so that's that's kind of spiky and not so great. The the heart cut is what most people take, and that's more sweet, a lot of the grain taste. Sure. And then the, the tail, tail end. you get a lot of funky, weird flavor. Yeah. And so a lot of the peat shows up in that tail end. So we're catching a bit of that. Yeah. Yeah. So you can have. I tell you, this is a, yeah. a wonderful peated malt. Uh, oh yeah. yeah, malt. Yeah. Oh man, yeah. No, I definitely think that water brings out a lot of sweetness. Almost. It does. It plays up the that that kind of apricotty note we were getting. Yep, yep. Yeah. Knocks down the peat a little bit, then knocks down the spice from the rye, and it brings. No rye. Up no rye. rye. No rye. It's yeah. But it's single oh, malt. That's it's all right. single malt. I'm sorry. Pardon me. <laughs> if, if you're the one or two of these, and I'm just. <laughs> But that's the thing. That's the thing, Mike. Uh, you can get rye spiciness yeah. from the oak. Oh. 
like stuff that kind of smells like rye can come from, sure. from the oak. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So depending on what barrel it's in. Sure. Okay. Yeah. And we got two barrels here. Right. The awesome. the Spanish and the uh, American oak. Got it. So cool. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I like that. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. That's it's very tasty. And it I like the way it changes with the water. That's that's kinda cool. This is this is one that can takes you on a different journey depending how you oh, drink it. Right. So I'd like to try it on some ice. See how Oh, that we works. could do that. We could yeah. do that. I feel like the Maybe. internet's the internet's gonna crucify us, but we can do it. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's pause here, we'll get some ice. Alright. <laughs> one cube. <laughs> All right, we're back, and we're drinking our Octomore with ice. The f*** you gonna do about it, Internet? Hey, watch your f***ing <laughs> language. <laughs> Rock up with goo, don't give a f***. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna mellow this out a little bit, chill it down. I assume that the aromatics are gonna drop appreciably, mm -hmm. and I assume that also when we taste this, it'll be... I don't want to say smoother, I just want to say muted. Yeah, probably. Okay, let's find out. Oh yeah, yeah. That, that knocks down the oh, match like, a lot. Yeah, it really kills the nose. Yeah, like I think it I, again. This even more so than the uh, than the water, kind of took the peat way way down, uh -huh. and you just left with vanilla toffee, the grain, the, the toffee sweetness from the malt, and maybe a hint of earthiness and a hint of that apricot kind of fruitiness, but it. Ah, man, yeah, that really... It smells, smells sweet. It smells really sweet now. <laughs> you, you, you lose a lot, all that all that peaty goodness. Wow. That's an entirely different drink. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. You still you still get a little bit of that, that kind of warm smoke on nope. the front end. Nope, yep, yep. But the finish is dead. All right. The finish is just, it's, it's, it's just... Not nearly what it was. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's all just, uh, uh, it's kind of just right, a so watery, bitter oak. Really, um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not too late. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, you can't unring that bell. You yeah. can't unring that <laughs> bell, man. <laughs> oh, well. We'll just have to start fresh and do another. Exactly, exactly. All right. All right. So, we've tried it, we've experimented. We've let you know what we thought. Yeah. Hopefully you got something out of this. And if you didn't, then we don't we don't care because <laughs> you know, whatever. <laughs> no, we care. Our three viewers, they need to be recognized. Oh yes, so, no, we love fine. you guys. I'm just taciturn. <laughs> <laughs> it's a three dollar horror. Yeah, all right. All right, so Hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, uh, we did because we got to drink Octomore yep, in three and, different ways. Yeah. And uh it's always fun drinking with my sons. So. Yeah, oh, Ready? you're sweet. Thank Cheers. you. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.